And Tolinka was so nice to me. It's so not fairy. Why, well, me don't cry. She might have died, but she isn't gone. What? I can see her. She was the one who saved Yuri just now. She's watching over us even as we speak. Sniffle. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, but she'll worry if you're crying. You have to smile for her, so smile like you always do, okay? Oh, okay, I'll give it a try. Lady Talinka, please don't worry, your meat is doing fighting. I've always wanted to tell you, Lady Talinka, I liked you so much. You are so nice to everyone. I'm never going to forget all the fun we had together, Lady Talinka. This is difficulty. I'm no good at this. Either. I don't think so. I think she's really happy. I hope so. What did you say we return the help? The help she gave us. Will you tell me more about Lady Talika? Okay. Me. Lady Talika was the Princess Royal of Rimbena Tenra, as King Cola's, as King Kolka's only daughter. She was a princess. That's righty. Lady Talinka was also an immensely gifted crystal user. A crystal user? That's someone with the power to control the power of the crystals, just like your power, Shalinka. Me? Mine aren't like that. I'm powerless without Yuri. Besides, I wasn't trained to be one. Crystal users are born that way. You can practice using it, but you can only improve only so much. You mostly inherited... You mostly inherited your powers from Lady Al Aria. Al Elaria, you mean Mama? Rabina Tenra, the crystal capital, has never known another crystal user more gifted than Lady Elaria. 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 She was an oracle known as the Star Singer because she was able to see the future. I was Lady Elaria's handmaid and was also given the task of tutoring Lady Talinka. We had come to Rilla Seal to visit the facilities and learn about controlling crystals, but then an event critical. Allow me to continue the story from here. Rabina Tenra has historically achieved its glory through its knowledge of magic and crystals. The Capital Royal spent several years building this facility to serve two roles functional. One was the one was a giant flood control mechanism to prevent Lake Cilia's waters from damaging the capital. The other was an institution academical for further education and research on the crystals. On crystals, it was myself and Sir Latov who were appointed to lead to were appointed to head both of these facilities royal. You and Papa, we converted the entire facility with procedures magical, managing them centrally from the crystal. With these measures, the facility was theoretically able to control Cilia's water volume total. That day, after several that day after several days of heavy rainfall, the whole facility was in a state agitational to control the waters of Cilia to work on of Scylla um, means to operate at full capacity even with this mechanism colossal we decided the students should uh, evacuate the facility before it reached full capacity operation Solitov and I were guiding them to safety in the downpour when a crimson light pierced the skies and adverse reaction caused the crystal's exertion which begat the facility's destruction fatal that is how we must that is how we have what you now see many lives were lost at this place fell to ruin irreparable Looking back at it now, however, the exertion of the crystal seems unnatural. One uses a crystal as a catalyst to shape elements which the user then wills the formula magical. For the crystal itself to go out of control is implausible. The crimson light and the mutation of the crystal neither would have occurred had the crystal not been used with malice intentional. That no less by a skilled user of the critical of the crystal. 
That's enough. How could you suspect Lady Talika of any wrongdoing? I'll cloud or anyone who says anything batty about her hiding. Meath, calm down. Al, I don't think Lady Talika was that kind of person. That kind of person either. I know that is exactly what I find enigmatical. What? One must be filled with the holy power to be a crystal user and wield any influence over a crystal. Crystals turn red by power denial. All that opposes crystals is evil. The moon is counter to crystal. Moon, moon touch, lunanites. Moon knights. Moon touch is turn. Moon touch is the term used to describe those whose hearts have been taken over by lunar evil. Sinister things tend to occur on moonlight nights. On moonlit nights, at least according to the lore traditional. Okay, so we read this already. To somebody else. Hold on. Did I hear you say the Loon Knights? Indeed, you did. The Loon Knights are unable to use crystals because of their nature evil. That's not my pointy. I heard Lady Talika call the call the Hierophant the Loon Knight. A Loon Knight. It was when the last Hierophant died. And there was a ceremony to appoint the new Hierophant. As as soon as Lady Talika saw that Harry Geezer's face, she called him. She called him that. As she started to shivery, it caused a commotion, and the Geezer's face at that, as the, and the Geezer's face that moment. That was no face of a man holy. That has to be. That has to be it. See. The temple needs crystal users, but who knows why? That's why Lady Illyria's, Illyria was Meath. Huh? What? What about Mama? What happened to Mama? Oh, uh, Meath, please. As soon as you two were born, Lady Illyria was taken away by black guards from the temple. What? Oh, wow, 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 wow. Mama was taken away to the temple? Then she, Mama, like when they tried to take us away. Why didn't you guys tell us before? Well, Lady Illyria and Sir Latoff as well. I want an answer. Yes, ma'am. Oh, he's back out of the middle of nowhere. You two were their world, dearie. They didn't want your good hearts corrupted by the by the loony moony. They did not want you to grow up with revenge in your hearts. <laughs> Papa, Mama. Al, me, thank you. I'm so glad to have family like you two. Lady Illyria, no need to worry. You would be proud of their pure heartsies, and I believe she would be amused to see how much you look like her. Chalinka, you're, you're the agitational. You're agitational. Now you guys are teasing me. Ah, since when were you back? Around the time you say yes, ma'am. <laughs> you had, you just had to arrive at the worst timing possible. Naj, hop on the switch, like you say. Look. Ah, you're right. It's operational. But the ground must have been easily 200. You believe? You know, believe, Naj. What you believe if not, if not believe, friends? You're not smart, not as Nas thought. Hmm. Your insult stings, but you're ent entirely correct in your assessment analytical. Yeah, we're gonna save this. All that damn talking. But then again, you know. That is what's is what's to be expected from a Final Fantasy game. Home, Rabina Tenra. Now we gotta get our asses to the uh, the um yeah. Here we go. Gotta buy magic and junk. This frame rate is slowing down like crazy. Would you please direct us to the shop selling goods, magical, magical goods? You need something like 
like um, what is called Magicite. Oh, that would be us. This is this very establishment is the place to get Magicite. It's also been so so long since we had any country. Uh -huh. Welcome to the Magicite. This is the Lord. Not stupid talking. First things first. Raise Magicite. Need to max out on these. Definitely need to get more potions. Uh, clear Magicite. We never use these things. Never use them. Or we rarely use them. Yeah, man. Kind of seems like I'm going to have to go farming for Gil. Alright, all that other stuff isn't even necessary. Man, it's so slow. 